So hey guys, um, so this is my first haul video. I mean, I've been really needing to do a haul video for a long, long time. It's just, we've been so busy. This whole summer has been hectic and I just haven't found the time to do it. So yeah, now here's my chance and yeah, so let's get started. Um, okay, so first I wanted to talk about Maybelline's color tattoos on um, the fall collection. Well, let's just talk about the fall line. I am, like, in love with the fall line. Um, I've all multiple cool things here. Let me see. Okay, first of all, I'm going to talk about the color tattoos. They came out with, I think, yeah, four new colors. And these are limited editions. Um, I bought these at CVS. And, well, I bought my first two at CVS. And I was kind of, you know, not sure to buy about... I wasn't sure... If I should buy the other ones. But then I was like, oh, I'm in love with these. I might as well just get all the colors that they come out with. So then when I went back to CVS, they were like sold out. So, yeah. So I went like on a freaking hunt. Like, the limited editions for some reason, I don't know. They just don't sell them at Walmart. Uh, sometimes they do at Target. But Walmart, they uh, rarely sell them. So I went to I went to Walgreens. And I was super happy that they had them. And, oh, trust me, some Walgreens will have them and some don't. I don't get why. I don't know. I guess that area probably sells more. I'm not sure. But I was super happy when I got these. Um, the first two colors I got was Mossy Green. And this is how that looks like. There you go. Perfect for fall. And then the second color would be Rich Mahogany. And that's how that one looks like. And then I also got really beige, beautiful color. And I got gold shimmer. Okay, and now for the nail polishes. These are my first Maybelline Color Show nail polishes. And I am in love with these colors. This is Avante Green, I guess. Here it goes. Which is gorgeous. Then I have Pink Cosmo. And I got Auburn Ablaze. And then I got Boho Gold. And then they came out with more Maybelline New York Eye Studio eyeshadows. This one is called Cozy Cashmere. And I just love these colors here. Let me open it up. Oops. <laughs> there it goes. And then I got Olive Martini. And that's how that one looks like. Yeah, I tried this one once. Um, It's okay, I guess. I mean, I don't think I would wear it as much. But I do really like this color here. It just has that... That's just that like, shimmery reflex color. I don't know, but I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a reflex green. But yeah, I'm really impressed with these. These are, yeah, I don't know if it's a new formula or not, but I was never really too fond of the uh, of these quads. I mean, I bought the green, the blue one. I think it's called some Sapphire something. I don't, I don't have it on me right now, but that one was okay. So when I first bought that one, I was like, okay, well... I don't think I want to try any more of the colors. But, I mean, I kept seeing gurus use them in their videos, but I still kind of was like, uh, I don't know if I want to spend $10 on something I didn't like. So then I just didn't bother. Until they came out with more just, I don't know if these are limited editions. I think these are permanent colors, not sure. But they came out with more of the colors, more quads. And this one is called Smoky Night. That looks... Yeah, right when I saw this, I, like, freaking fell in love. But I am very, very disappointed. These colors, I don't know, they're just, when you put them on, they're just too dark. Here, there's a close-up. Let me see if I focus. Yeah, they're just too dark. I don't know. When I first apply them, like, I don't know, like, from far away, you probably think I'm just wearing a bunch of, just, you know, regular black eyeshadow, but... 
I mean, close up, you might be able to see some color in there, but yeah, I'm just very disappointed. Like, I mean, I expect it to be more, I mean, yes, dark, but still you can see the color. But yeah, this, I don't know. This is really disappointed. Disappointing. So yeah, I wish I kept the receipt to this. <laughs> But I didn't, so yeah, I'm stuck with it. I mean, I think I'll use it sometimes, but not as often. But yeah, the new formula, I don't know if, I don't even know if it's the new formula or not. But yeah, these just, oh, I love these. These colors came out beautifully. And yeah, I will be using this, these two a lot. Well, not this one maybe, but this one, yes. Okay, so yeah, I think that's it for the fall collection for Maybelline. Um, like I said again, um, hopefully CVS or Walgreens around you guys sell them, but they're all limited edition and hopefully you guys can get your hands on them. So, okay. Okay, back to the Maybelline color tattoos. Um, they also came out with four, yeah, limited edition colors. I don't know why, but I found these at Target and I just had to get them. So, here, okay, here they are. So, ready, set, green. And that's how that looks like. Um, this is Fusion Fever. Here. This is Blue on By. Blue on By. And Test My Teal. Yeah. I don't know, I'll swatch this one for you guys just to see the color. Oh, that's gorgeous. I bought these from Target and I'm not sure if they sold it anywhere else. Um, I always go to Walgreens because that's like, yeah, for some reason here we have more Walgreens than CVS. Um, so I just recently, probably like the other day, I started seeing that they were selling these. So, I don't know, hopefully, I don't know. If you guys really like these, just go get them before they're gone. They are limited edition, so I don't know when they will discontinue these. Okay, so now into All in the Wet and Wild. I just recently bought these two uh, fantasy makers. I guess this is a limited edition for um, Halloween. Here's how they look. Oh, they're gorgeous. Um, I know they have more palettes, but these are the only two I saw left at Walgreens, so I just decided to grab them. I haven't used them yet, but we'll let you guys know how they work. And then they also have uh, limited edition color nail polishes for Halloween. I think they came out with six, but I only grabbed four. Because the other two had similar colors to them, so I just didn't want to waste the money on it. I mean, yeah, even though they're only $2, but I mean, like... Yeah, I have a lot of nail polishes that all like look so similar, but just different brands. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to stop doing that because uh, my nail polish, just, my nail polish collection is just getting like bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, so first we have Lethal Injection. Here's how that looks like. Uh, so sorry, my lighting is horrible. Yeah, I'm really trying to improve our videos. Um. This is Toxic Apple. It's like a dark chrome purple. And this is Root of Evil. Root of All Evil. Blue is also in for fall. This will be perfect. And then Poison Ivy. Oh, that color is gorgeous. I'm just, I don't know. Yeah, this fall, I'm just like so into the green. So, yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, and I think this is one of the permit collections. I just recently saw this one out, but I'm not sure if it is or not. But this is called Under Your Spell, and I also think this is perfect for fall or Halloween, whatever. But yeah, this is like a dark metallic red. It's, yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, then I also got my hands on the Fergie nail polishes. I mean, they, I mean... I do like her line, but to be $4, I think that the packaging is kind of cheap. I mean, compared to this, is $2. I mean, it does feel good. I mean, it does feel cheap, but it's okay. But for the Fergie to be $4 and the packaging is still kind of cheap, it's kind of disappointing. 
Um, she does have a lot of like glitter nail polishes. Um, I only bought four th uh, that just came out to me anymore. So the first one is Tonight's Gonna Be a Good Night, which is like a glitter nail polish. It's like matte black sparkles with gold sparkles. And this one I was really disappointed. I thought more of the glitters would like come out as you put it on, but it's so thin. I mean, when you put it on, it's like clear with just a couple of glitters in there. So you probably have to put probably like five coats of this just for it to sh like just for it to show as much as you want it on it like a nail polish. Um, so yeah, I was disappointed in this color. So yeah. And then this one is my favorite one out of her collection. This is called Mermaid Curves. Yeah, this one reminds me of the Deborah Lippmann nail polish. Uh, I'm not sure what the color is called, but this is like, I swear, this is like a dupe for it. Yeah. And then I also got Miami Spirit and Ferguson Crest Sarah? Syrah? Yeah, Ferguson Crest Syrah. And this one's gorgeous also. It has like a gold yellowish reflex into it, like glitters in there. I am not sure, but I haven't really tried these two on yet, so I'll let you guys know sooner. Okay, now I have for the um, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Eyeshadows. Uh, I know they came out with, I think, yeah, six new colors. No, probably more. I don't know. Maybe six six or eight I am not sure but I got a hold of four um this is smoldering plum here that's how that looks like um glistening garnet yeah that color is gorgeous and then I got liquid diamond I know all the gurus on YouTube are like raving about this color. So I got it. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but it does look gorgeous. And yeah, I can't wait to try it. And also I got Endless Sea. And I tried this one already and it's amazing. Ugh. Yeah, and I'm super excited. Now I can talk about my Urban Decay purchase I just got like yesterday and I am in love with this palette right here. This is called the Vice Palette. This is uh, how many eyeshadows? 20 eyeshadows. 20 new eyeshadows from Urban Decay. And oh my god, that is super... Oh my god, I can't even... I don't even know what to say right now because I'm speechless. Because I am so in love with this palette. I just can't wait to to use it and oh my favorite color out of this palette so far is chaos that is gorgeous so yeah I can't wait to use this palette and give you guys a review on how I like it yeah so um there and they also had Urban Decay also had a um a sale going on for the Book of Shadows 3 the Urban Decay New York City one and this one is called the Urban Decay, yeah, the Redux, I'm guessing. This is originally like $56, and I got it for $34. Um, yeah, it's it's basically the same thing from the older palette, the old one. They just added, I guess they swapped some colors, they added some new colors. Like, I know my sister, um, Cha, she does have the other Book of Shadows. And I don't remember this color being here. This is Goddess. I know there's a different color here. Yeah, and I think XCC is a new color. And Aquarius is a new color, I think. But yeah, I've been waiting to buy this palette forever. And finally, it was on sale for $36, so yes. And I also got an eyeliner and a uh, Urban Decay Potion Primer. So yeah, went win on that too. Okay, so that's the end of my first haul and mini review, you can say. Uh, if you guys... Do like it uh, please thumbs up and like the video and comment below if you guys have any comments you guys want to let us know about and um yeah just let me know I mean I will be doing more hauls and more reviews coming soon so just keep watching and um I'll talk to you guys later